Hi, this is Driving with Miles. Who needs this? If you're getting ready to take your DMV test, you're gonna take your road test, you're a new driver, you need some prep to prepare you for the pass the test, you need to be watching this video. I'm a certified instructor, I teach teens and adults. Let's get into it. So the speed limit here is 40. You need to be driving at 40 miles an hour, staying in your lane, checking mirrors and blind spots. On your DMV test, you do not go over the speed limit. You can go a mile or two under, but if you go five under, seven under, you will be marked down. Also, you will face a harsher penalty if you go over the limit. So you need to be right at the limit. I'm at 40 miles an hour, cars are leaving me, so what? Follow the rules, follow the law. I'm a rule follower, you need to be a rule follower too, so I'm maintaining my speed. The speed limit just changed to 55 miles an hour, so you pep up to 55 miles an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and make the lane change to the right. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I get this over, three blinks, I cancel the blinker. I have great speed control, I'm smooth. I'm in the middle lane right now, so I'm maintaining speed. Your DMV tester, your road tester, will have you make a lane change. They wanna see you check your mirror, turn signal, blind spot, be consistent. So I have great speed control. I'm following the limit right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and explain this. I have a warning sign to my right telling me that traffic could be merging on. So I'm maintaining great speed. The speed limit still is 55. So I'm maintaining speed. Typically, beginning drivers, newly licensed drivers will drift to the left because they go too fast into the curve. So be mindful of your speed. So I'm maintaining great speed control. I'm checking my mirrors and blind spots every 12 to 15 seconds. I'm nice and smooth. Here are Chevron alignment signs. They tell us of a really sharp curve. I have my edge line to the right. I have my broken white lines, which tells me I can make a lane change in the direction if I need to. I'm gonna maintain my speed. I see traffic ahead of me. I see about six cars behind me. Why? Because I'm checking my mirror and blind spots and I'm looking. So I'm maintaining great speed control. Notice the speed limit has changed. So now you need to be at the speed limit. A lot of beginning drivers drive 10 under, 12 under. You will be marked down if you drive under the speed limit. So I'm maintaining great speed. I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot, about three blinks. That is a beautiful lane change. I am nice and smooth, maintaining good speed control. Always looking around. We have a cloverleaf to our right. Cars are merging on the expressway. A lot of beginning drivers will swerve to the left because they're scared cars and trucks will cut in front of them. So here's what happens. They just lift their foot off the gas and they're scared. I'm showing you what a beginning driver will do. I have lost 12 miles an hour. I am losing speed, why? Because I'm showing you what a beginning driver will do. On your DMV test, if you do this, you will be marked down. I've lost 15 miles an hour. You will be marked down. Now let's pick it back up. So I've lost 15 miles an hour. I'm getting my speed back up. Cars are flashing lights at me. So I'm maintaining my speed, I'm getting it back up. I'm almost back up to the speed limit. I'm scanning left, I'm scanning right. People looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm gonna ignore them. Maintain good speed. So I don't feel comfortable with that uh, lane change. That's dangerous, they didn't give me enough room. If you did that on your road test, you will be marked down. So I'm maintaining good speed. I'm scanning, I'm looking ahead. Uh, speed control is pretty good. So I wanna continue moving forward, maintaining good speed control. I wanna make a lane change to the right, but I can't, why? Because there was a car in my blind spot, you'll see it. Oh boy, so you have to look over your right shoulder. And if you don't look over your right shoulder, you will get a deduction. So I maintain and did that lane change. Maintain the good speed control. There is a semi truck behind me. We talk about anxiety. We will deal with that at another time. So I'm maintaining good control. I'm scanning, I'm looking ahead. So your DMV tester will look for you to have good lane positioning. I'm gonna demonstrate what a beginning driver does. I'm gonna drift to the left. And as I drift to the left, I start losing points. And now I have lost points because literally I'm drifting to the left. A lot of beginning drivers, and particularly if you're not comfortable on your DMV test and you have anxiety, you will drift. There's a driver without a blinker. You do that, you will lose points. So I'm maintaining my speed. I see the uh, Chevron, Lyman signs, and the, uh, the Cloverleaf to the right. I see cars merging on. Here's another tip 
I'm going to show you what a beginner driver does. They're scared. This car doesn't have a blinker. Now they, so I'm going to wait and wait and wait. I've lost six miles an hour. Now I lost 12. This is what a beginning driver does. So if you do this on your DMV test, you will lose points. You can't see it, but the semi truck behind me is six cars away. This is pressure. This is anxiety. So I'm building my speed back up. Now I'm on a curve. A lot of beginning drivers will swerve out to the right, and I'm gonna show you what happens. This is what happens. You swerve out, and then you lose points. So I'm maintaining speed. So you wanna maintain speed and position. I'm looking for blinkers. The minimum you're gonna get is maybe one or two blinks. So be that defensive driver. Also, you notice I am keeping space. If you don't keep space, you will lose points. A space cushion, the car ahead of me is tailgating. This is why they keep tapping their brake lights and tapping their brake lights and tapping their brake lights. Keep room, keep space. I've always talked about this in all of my videos. Be the defensive driver. And as you can tell, cars are hanging around this semi truck. I need to make a decision. Do I want to hang around this truck? No, I want to keep going. So I'm maintaining my space and position, speed, space, and smile. If you find this of value, please hit the like. Please subscribe to my channel. We have new energy today, and I'm going to bring it. And you're going to love the content because I've been reading the comments. Let's get back to it. I'm maintaining my speed and position. Eventually, I will pass the semi truck. Your road tester, DMV tester, will sit and observe you. Now I'm going to show you what beginning drivers do. I'm just going to hang around this truck and hang around it and hang around it and hang around it. This is dangerous because you're almost in the truck's no zones. A no zone is left side, right side, front and back. Say it with me. Left side, right side, front and back. There will be a Kahoot later today that I will embed in the website and you will love it. I want to continue. So now I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to pop that gas butt up a little bit and I want to get out of this truck's blind spot. Very dangerous. Technically, I should be passing on the left, but I can't. So now I feel better. We have our edge line to the right. We have our broken white line to the left, which means I can pass. So I'm maintaining good speed and position. I'm looking ahead. I'm aiming high. A lot of beginning drivers will veer to the right. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Literally, they veer to the right. And oh my God, did you hear that noise? That is so scary. Your car went off the road. Don't overreact. You will lose points. Why? Because you're looking down at the line. You're not looking ahead. So I'm maintaining really good speed control. I see cars because I'm checking my mirrors every 12 to 15 seconds. I'm scanning. I'm looking ahead. You really need to demonstrate control and confidence. So let's see, there's the truck. I'm gonna show you what beginning drivers will do. I've lifted my foot off the gas because I'm gonna drive like a scared driver. Now, I'm in danger. Do you see the confusion? The truck driver doesn't know what to do, so I flash my lights. I let the driver know. You see, he flashed his lights, or she, oh boy! You wanna communicate that, and he or she should flash their lights back. They didn't, but I communicate it. Don't be scared to communicate your intention. I have another car. I'm just lifting my foot. They should be using a blinker. Hey, there's a blinker. Three blinks, four blinks, five blinks. That's a pretty good job. I'm lifting my foot. I'm not on top of this car. Learn from these teachable moments. I'm driving. I have, I'm really smooth right now. I'm taking my time. You have to be patient. A good DMV tester, road tester, instructor will be patient with you. They will give you support. They will help you be successful. You will be nervous. You will have some anxiety. But I demonstrated what can happen if you're not expecting a semi truck to come out. Let's kind of review. Who needs this video? If you are new to the United States and you're taking your DMV test or road test, if you're in the United States and you're getting ready to take your DMV test today, tomorrow, you need to watch this video and subscribe. New content is up and coming. If you are a newly licensed driver, you need this information. It takes up to 10 years to really understand what's going on. So I have great speed control. I am not tailgating the car. I have space between me. I'm checking my mirrors and blind spots. This is a great learning concept. You will have more content being pushed out daily. We will have more integrated information. Who needs this again? 
If you're new to the United States, if you're taking your DMV test or road test in the next 24 to 48 hours, I want to say thank you. I love you and I appreciate you.